WFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning. We're 30 minutes into the trading day, and things are starting off. To the downside, to say the least, you have markets opening. S&Ps open the day down 100 points, folks. You're still right at that level, off 2.5%. We have yield spiking. We have a yield version, yield curve inversion. We have the crypto market absolutely falling apart uh, for fundamental and technical reasons. The NASDAQ 100 off 2.7% right now. Dow off 577 points. That's 1.8%. The Russell off 3.5% right now. I mentioned Bitcoin. There's your slide. We make a low of 23,270 in Bitcoin. Crude, holding up relatively well, right at about 120 bucks this morning. We have dollar strength, gold contract, off $43 right now at 1831. We give back all of the acceleration that you had on Friday on gold. How about the yield on the 10-year, folks? 3.28%, the yield on the 10-year right now. We jump over. There's your chart of the 10-year, 115.27. You give up more than two full points from where we were just Friday morning, 3.29 almost. We make a high earlier, 3.31%. Highest yield on the 10-year since November of 2018. Remarkable. Uh, we jump around to what else we have going on. There are your yields right now. Okay, you get the 10-year, 3.286. You did have a yield inversion going on for the two-year and the 10-year. That's eased a bit as we got the two-year at 3.22. So we got about six, six basis points of where we are on that spread right now. Uh, and you're talking about short-term rates going up. And that has to do with, folks, the headline. Let me get the headline, and then we'll show you a couple charts. Bond yield surging with the Fed bets. 175 basis points over the next three meetings is what the Fed is pricing in right now. You talk about the two-year and the 10-year. How's that for a pullback on a spread? We go, we dip negative in terms of yield inversion. And then the last chart I wanted to pull up here, the 10-year, pushing highest levels we've seen since 2018. And you're talking about back to where we were in 2011. And folks, that is from half a percent at the COVID lows. But you got to remember, the 10-year was at 1.5% to kick off this year. 1.5% to kick off this year. We're about to be at 3.5%. We got a Fed meeting coming up tomorrow, a press conference announcement Wednesday. Should be an interesting one, folks. Stay tuned. S&P's down 102 in the NASDAQ, off 367. We got Basil coming up right now. He did his show at 8 a.m. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Monday. <laughs>